Welcome back to Arcade Sunday. Today I'm going to play one of my favorite games, and you guessed it, it's Wonder Boy. Now this uh, could be quite a long video, possibly about 20 minutes. Some areas I do show off some interesting little uh, skills or uh, things that I've picked up along the way playing Wonder Boy. So, without further ado, let's try Wonder Boy. It's Arcade Sunday. Let's try with one coin and see how far we can get. So I did a video um, a while back, uh, episode 68 in fact, um, where I feature a bit of gameplay of Wonder Boy. In that game I get um, about 350,000 points and get to area 3.2 I believe. So I'll get a bit further in this particular game. Uh, so that's basically what I was going for. Oh, free life hidden there, it's very unusual. Yeah, so with these uh, bees and layouts of the stages, you, you kind of do get to know where things are. There's a snake coming up after this fire here. There it is. Um, once you get to know the patterns of Wonder Boy, I think you will pretty much um, be able to get quite far, uh, like uh, I demonstrate in this particular gameplay. Uh, the difficulty for me uh, comes in that I don't play often enough to fully remember the latest stages. So earlier on, um, I do sometimes confuse myself with um, what's about to come up next um, as I'm sort of anticipating the later stages uh, too early or, or the other way around. Um, so you get to the later stages and you forget where things are hidden, like snakes especially. Um, uh, definitely the, the worst two enemies in the game is, for me anyway, is uh, the snake. Now, look, uh, the frog is a terrible enemy too because it sometimes jumps randomly. Um, again, if you know how to attack the frog, um, there's a special coming up. There we go, end of that little ledge. If you know how to attack a frog, uh, then you'll be fine, but uh, they can be unpredictable and again, later stages they end up you know, having two or three frogs in, in a row, sort of, so if you weren't perfectly uh, aligned for the, or, or anticipating a frog, then all of a sudden there's another one and another one, and uh, that's usually when you are dead. So I like to just collect as uh, many of the items as possible when, when the fairy is hanging by your head there, because uh, in later stages, those scores actually become exponential, so it starts with like 200, 200 and then goes up, whatever, 400, 600, etc. So it's quite a good point multiplier later on. Uh, earlier on, it doesn't seem to be the case. Um, yeah, so I suppose a few... Oh, I'd like to throw one hammer into the mouth of that cave there. So, here we go, into the second round. All bonus. Okay, so get the milk. Milk gives you nice full vitality, which you need, and gives you some points, which is also nice. So we have to trick over that fire there, as not to get killed. No, really, I'm starting to forget here where the snakes are, because there's no snake there. But as later on, there's a, a scene like that where there's rocks uh, rolling and then uh, three snakes in a row there's one there but usually always get him with the fairy attached so that's cool and there she goes Bye. okay so subsection three or save point three i don't know why i hung back so long there but at least i still got that mushroom so that mushroom basically boosts your the, the points are per item so those that burger and oh i missed one there this burgers and other little desserts um, basically were lower level items before you pick up the mushroom, so that's what that does. Let's hang back again. Okay, I think I actually missed this doll bonus. So, yeah, <laughs> so close. I usually always get that. I'm not sure what happened this time. Okay, so and then jump. Oh, see there, I missed my timing there too. But usually it's a smooth roll through. And that's the end of this round. So the beginning of uh, area one round four and pretty straightforward this this time around uh, this particular stage gets 
super difficult um, the third way around. I can only imagine the fourth uh, round would be even more difficult, obviously. Uh, but pretty much, yeah, so when you see that flower, you know, someone's coming from behind you, there's little air things, I don't know what those things are called. You'll see they've got a little red uh, item there, the credit card, I call it. Um, you only get that uh, if you're riding skateboard and it happens just after you kill one of those uh, little bear things after one of the red flowers. Now you'll see another one of those coming up and you can just be mindful of the little red credit card bonus that appears. Again, only happens when you're on a skateboard. There's flower there. Okay, that guy's coming. I'm going to shoot him down. You'll see a little red. There are. I couldn't see it was under the apple, but it appears um, only under those circumstances. Okay, so your skateboard gets lost there automatically as you're coming to the boss. So, yeah, very straightforward boss. Uh, just don't get too close to me. Don't jump. In fact, you didn't even get to shoot there, so I got it quite quickly. Great, so that's the end of that area. So we move on to uh, area two. That's 10,000 doll bonus points there. Okay, area two, round one. Again, pretty straightforward. That, yeah, mushroom obviously upgrades all the food to be of higher value. Yes, I hope that the scars are annoying. Okay. Look pretty cute. Now it's just a matter of knowing the the platforms. And again, just trying to get as many of these as possible. Get as many as points as you can. Goodbye, fairy. Frog. Yeah. I love frogs. Okay, so nothing much to speak about here. Just, um, just being careful of getting on the platforms and not jumping too early and trying to collect a uh, dull bonus item. Okay, one past four. Checkpoint four, should I say? Yeah, it's also something that's very nice about the Wonder Boys. Um, checkpoint system is that it actually starts off in quite fair areas uh, sometimes, or most of the time. Um, and then you only have to play from your last checkpoint instead of starting like way back or at an unknown spot. So it's nice to actually have that signboarded. Strange enough, um, Sonic, also by Sega, I guess, um, also uses a checkpoint system. It's easy to see and, and clearly obvious. So, um, 1986 game and first uh, 1994 game. Yes, it's always where I get confused with these snakes and the number thereof. So you see something above there? Okay, so now be a snake down. Yeah, one, two, three snakes. It can be tricky. <laughs> Okay, the skateboard, um, perfect uh, mode of transport, especially on every stage. Uh, skateboard, I, I really prefer to roll on skateboard everywhere if I could. This is much uh, nicer to control, more flowing. Um, some people hate skateboard because they keep on falling off cliffs and ledges and getting killed by rocks, but. Uh, I quite enjoy it. So that's no. Darn it, lost skateboard, not good. Got some vitality there. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> Tricky. Put a frog behind the rock, so if you could start tripping up on the drug, rock, then the frog will just kill you. Okay, yeah, that's the end of that area. Or oh, that round, should I say, so... Not the area, we're still in area two.
All right, so the beginning of area two, round three. Again, pretty straightforward. Just need to know when uh, the enemies will appear. Not too difficult at this point. Um, it does get a bit more difficult later. There's a second checkpoint. Missed a bit of an item there, unfortunately. Okay, back onto the skateboard. Okay, there's some hidden stuff here. Uh, there's a frog. Yep. Now here we go. These three little guys, and then there should be a secret somewhere. There's a there an S. It sometimes also has a free life, so it can be quite useful. I think when you got all five lives like I've got now in the top bar, uh, it, it won't allow uh, another free life at that point. Yeah, missing a few items there. It becomes a bit of a timing jump here, and another one. Okay, again, not difficult at this point. Uh, there's a little frog trick. Run under the first one and jump over the second one. The second one, if you'd notice, was a slightly different color, and I fell off. So there again, you just got to be careful with the timing. So as I was saying about the frogs, you'll notice that the one is a slightly different color than the other one. Back one is not going to jump at you. He's, uh, he doesn't jump, so you have to jump over him. It's, you just have to remember that for that point because otherwise you're going to try and attack a frog that wants to jump and he doesn't jump, so it's uh, difficult. Okay, so the end of that. So area two, round four. Okay, again, this is getting more tricky than the previous uh, fourth round area, and especially difficult now that I don't have a weapon. Now this is a, a big problem, as you can see. It's you basically can't kill anything, so you got to very like this. You have time all your jumps. It's it's very difficult, but um, I think I do okay. Yeah. wrecking when you can't shoot anyway so to get your weapon soon I think and then you'll get your first uh, you know flower bear or whatever you want to call him another one yep. okay yeah and there's a frog and there's a second frog you better get both of them before you this is well, my method anyway I'll try and kill him as far back as possible so you got all that jump room Okay, over the fire. Okay, checkpoint three, flower is coming. Yeah, the high flower there. <coughs> when the flower is completely red, fold in red. Open red flowers is going to be a ground attack. Just two little types of enemies. Okay, ground attack is coming. Yeah. Okay, checkpoint four. Snake will appear soon on the hill. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward now. Normal boss fight. Um, not not very difficult. This one does move a bit faster than the other one, but uh, other than that, it's the same pattern. Easy to kill. Okay, so area three, round one. Okay, immediately go for skateboard. Um, this will help you later. A lot of frogs on the way down now, you gotta be careful. Okay, so here you'll see where you actually lose your skateboard, but you can get the doll bonus item. So it's interesting use uh, of a skateboard. Uh, it's like a definitely a, a hidden. I uh, shouldn't have done that. I should have knocked it with a hammers. But anyway, anyway, so, so that um, hidden item skateboard trick uh, does appear earlier on in the game, and I believe later on as well. 
I couldn't quite find the other points um, for the hidden dull bonus, but I know there's one before this on an earlier stage. Spring jump here. Right, let's get the milk. Okay, now here's a another super long time jump. You've got to be super, super patient here. And there are some that you could probably do faster than what I've done here, but um, I've died here too many times in the past to worry about a bit of time. So patience. Pretty well done. I think we'll get a checkpoint. Yeah, checkpoint four. Yeah, it's gonna go for it here. Yeah. Okay, the end of the stage. Okay, area three, round two. Okay, again, uh, skateboard is pretty important here, too. As there's a lot of places you can get killed by random rocks. And especially snakes. Okay, checkpoint two. Okay, change items to higher value items. And there's a... What's going to happen here? Snake? No. Oh yeah, this is a problem here. That snake, every rock now on the way up, there's a snake. Such a tricky hiding place. And the rock will probably come and try to also get you. Okay, perfect. Bit of a tricky part there. Okay, got to checkpoint three, skateboard. Okay, here we go. Two ground-based bears and a frog now what i've done there was probably the best way you can pass that area just try and avoid as much as possible and jump over the the frog um not easy but uh, there i just demonstrated how it is i've lost a skateboard unfortunately but um this is quite a nice little point multiplier you'll notice here the scores start going up there's a 200 200 300 500 yeah so quite a nice points toward the end of the stage area three round three okay again a bit of a rinse and repeat of the first and second versions of the stage however this is significantly more difficult um, there's a lot of like there uh, if you didn't have a weapon for example there that that becomes such a difficult timing spot you can actually end up losing all all six lives there a bit of a timed cloud jump here and a drop jump that's quite tricky as well if you don't know what's going to happen so yeah we have to just slowly make your way through the cloud jumps and uh, octopus enemies Strangely enough, probably one of my favorite uh, favorite enemies in the game, these octopus guys. I think they just look nice. <laughs> and they're fun to shoot down too with their jumping. So it's a fairy and you'll see there's a flower there, so a ground-based bear enemy. Little guys. Uh, right, not too bad. Okay, checkpoint four. Okay, now here as well without a weapon, it's very difficult, so try not to die here. Very, very difficult. In fact, I think there's a drop jump coming here as well. Oh, no, not yet. Not yet. Okay, it's a little interesting little oh, random bee kills me. Okay, so now as I was saying earlier on, I have no weapon now, so you have to be very, very careful with your timing. Okay, 
Yeah, that was super lucky, anyway. Or oh, was it super skillful? Okay, so the beginning now of area three, round four. Now again, <coughs> now again without a weapon here. This is, uh, yeah, <laughs> tough. Uh, as you can see, it can be done, but mm, it's quite a way to go before you actually are able to get a weapon again. And I can see I'm trying to prospect for snakes there. Okay, so I've got a weapon back. And uh, it's got to be very careful. Okay, probably bees coming now. And a lot of them. Uh, gosh, not happy about that one. Now we're back again, no weapon, so timing, jump. And this little blue guy makes it difficult because he's walking slower than normal. So you got to be, this is really, really testing your, your platforming skills at this point. Anyway, so again, back with, uh, with weapon. A lot of bees. Trying to get rid of them before they arrive. Pretty tough. Yeah, prospecting for snakes. Yeah, there we go. I just hate snakes. Probably the worst enemy, as I was saying earlier. Snakes and frogs. Mm. Terrible. Snakes are worse because you can't really see them. Until it's too late. Like this here. Oh. If you didn't know that. Froggy was there. You'd be dead. So many frogs in a row, four in a row. It's really testing your skills at this point, too. Yeah. Right, so spring over. And that's also, don't eat that thing. It's a rotten egg or poison egg or. Okay, two of these guys coming out now. Luckily, I handled it like that. Um, you get in a situation sometimes before where you can panic and actually uh, you end up over here with all of these enemies coming to you at once. It's just impossible to get all of them off the field of play. So here too is a bit of a tricky shot here because you've got a lot of obstacles. Yeah, I'm going to be prospecting for snakes here. I don't think there are any there. But you can't be too careful at this point. There should be one coming up here though. Oh, that was lucky. Mm. Okay, towards the boss again. It's this rinse, rinse and repeat of the other bosses. You see my vitality is pretty low at this point and that's really due to just not enough uh, items to pick up. And you'll see there this boss doesn't actually uh, shoot back, it just moves up and down. So it's actually probably the easiest boss, despite this being the third stage. Yeah, no doll bonus. There's a stage there where that doll would have been hidden somewhere within the stage, but obviously missed it and straight into. This is this game just gets stupid difficult at this point. Again, now I've got no weapon. <laughs> no weapon, and there's like three snakes in a row here. It's just absolutely crazy. This is a part of the game where I think it's game over, but I need to really, oh my gosh, just start practicing this stage to get here. As you can see, it took you know, 23 minutes or so to get to this point. So not the easiest level to practice. No. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, not one of my best scores, but um, it's about my average score, about 360, 300, and yeah, around there, 360, 380. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope that uh, your Wonder Boy game is just as good as mine, and if it's better, please let me know. If you know any tricks or tips that I missed, please also let me know in the comments below. As always, have a great Arcade Gaming Week. Arcade Sunday out.